Hi there, this is Ryan from Masuva. I'm sitting here on a Friday afternoon having a beer and having a look at the uh, latest release of Concrete 5, which is 5754. It's recently come out and like a lot of the releases recently, it is absolutely chock full of improvements and bug fixes and a few new features. Uh, it's getting really stable and it's really worth checking out at the moment. Uh, with the, re the recent release, uh, I've been fortunate to have a few of my GitHub pull request uh, and feature enhancements added all at the same time. So I thought I'd have a quick look at those features since I, so I put them in and I can explain them well and just talk a little bit about uh, contributing to Concrete 5. So the three things that I added um, were, the first one was a uh, enhancement to the YouTube block. Uh, out of the box before, the YouTube block needed a bit of help to be responsive, but now if you add a YouTube video, if we add a block there, uh, the block's been enhanced and has a lot more settings available. So if I, uh, if I uh, grab a YouTube video, I'll grab this one here, and paste that URL in, all I need to do is leave the settings as it is. I don't have to worry about the sizing uh, or you know resizing or doing any other scripts. If I add that now, I've got a mobile responsive uh, YouTube version there. So it's just it's mobile responsive with a little bit of uh, CSS. But if we have a look at the other options on the block, we can do things like change the uh, the progress bar. Uh, we can automatically play it. We can do things like uh, turn off the controls. All those options that the uh, YouTube video embedding uh, supports is now exposed by this dialog. Uh, another thing that was always uh, requested was to remove the related videos at the end. Very, very rarely do you use that. So that's uh, one way to do it. You can that that's basically off by default now. The other cool thing is that this uh, this URL is actually a little bit clever in that if you only include a um, uh, a URL like that and if I look up another another video and grab another YouTube um, code like that and put a comma and just put a comma separated list of YouTube videos uh, video uh, IDs I've actually created a playlist and uh, that's a really nice way if you're wanting to put a whole bunch of videos together it's the the native support of YouTube with playlists it also supports pasting in an actual YouTube playlist URL and that will do the same sort of thing if you've got your playlist already set up. So that's some enhancements uh, that make using the YouTube block a lot easier. The second thing I added was uh, I noticed with uh, any time we did SEO work and we were having to count the characters for the title and the description that there really wasn't a nice way to do that. So um, I added uh, some scripting in on the SEO tab so now there's actually a character counter so if we uh, change you know the description here uh, it will count uh, count count the uh, the characters and that's really useful um, normally I think it's 55 characters as recommended for the the title tag um, uh, for for Google and I think it's 150 to 160 characters so if you're doing all that real in-depth SEO work and you're trying to maximize the search result appearance, uh, those things should be uh, useful. There's also, and you might not have seen this before if, you, um, if you've not used Concrete 5 much, there is actually a bulk SEO tool and you can search for that by just saying bulk SEO in the uh, intelligent search there. And this allows you to uh, search for pages and edit them all in the one go and that character count has also been added to that. So if you're going through a site, you can scroll down, you can make all these changes, uh, review all the pages. Uh, I think this has been adjusted a little bit as well, just to make it uh, a bit easier to read. And uh, you get, yeah, you can see, for example, here, uh, this would be too long for, um, uh, you know, recommended amount. So you could say, well, let's take this, this off here and we've got a much neater and uh, better suited description tag. So that's uh, the second feature. The third feature is to do with the file manager and uploading photos, large ones in particular. Now at the moment, here's a, here's a large photo that we've got from a digital camera. It's 4,000 pixels wide on my desktop. Um, many of you would have found that if you upload an image this size, and we'll do it, that 
it just can't cope with that and very few servers can handle large photos like that uh, it's a lot of crunching to get the thumbnail happening and it basically fails and this is even on my um, my development my local server where I've I've set things up with a bit, little bit more memory and it still struggled and it, and it failed to import that so um, what I investigated was the image uploading uh, code that was already there and I enabled feature that was supported but wasn't turned on which is client side image resizing and let's go to the the settings to turn that on it's under system and settings and then files and then uh, image uploading there's an option here to automatically resize uploaded images and it sets to some pretty uh, sensible defaults and we can hit save and that turns it on now let's try that same trick again if we upload this image what it's actually doing is on the browser side of things the browser's taking care of the resizing so the server's not having to do it uh, it's a big image so it takes a little while but it's going to be the same if you're resizing it in in Photoshop and notice that it's resized it and limited to my image uh, dimensions I put in before so if we look at the uh, the image let's see old one sorry the image there it's actually resized it down and it's uh, limited it to the uh, the where is it attributes down here there's the sizing there but that's my original so this is going to be really handy when um, for two reasons one if you've got a, a large stack of images that you're wanting to resize and upload for something like a gallery you can set that as a limiting size or you could even set it temporarily down to something small um, if you're wanting to do a batch resize and then you could drag in a whole series of images and it'll do the resizing for you the other one is that if you are setting it up uh, setting up concrete five for some clients um, you really don't have to go through the discussion about I oh, don't upload images directly off a digital camera this is sort of a protection mechanism where you can turn this on for your client and it'll transparently stop uh, images from ending up in the file manager that are just too big uh, so I think this is uh, something that I know that we'll use with our clients and hopefully uh, it's a big benefit to to others um, so yeah so that's the three main features that we've added concrete 5 is getting really stable uh, really really slick and um, what I'm finding is that uh, the activity on github for development there's such a flurry of it at the moment uh, if you are a coder, I'd really recommend you taking a look at the GitHub uh, repository for Concrete 5, seeing, having a look at the issues, seeing the kinds of pull requests that people are doing, and get involved. It's really not that hard. Uh, if you're a coder to set up a development version, uh, do a branch, tweak a, a feature, and do a pull request. Uh, don't be scared to do it. People are very friendly, and they will support you in, in uh, contributing. Um, things, for example, that you, know, you might like to look at is there are a lot of core blocks uh, like the YouTube block where they they might not have been heavily refined with the update to 5.7 with 5.6 they've sort of been carried carried directly across um, and some of them have been looked at but some of them especially some of the lesser used ones uh, might really be just clones of the ones of 5.6 updated to 5.7 you might have some ideas for those you might have some uh, even language improvements you might say this this terminology is confusing so if you make those those requests it all enhances a system that, that, that we use and love so yeah so that's uh, that's it for a Friday afternoon um, hope you've enjoyed that cheers <laughs>